Hi guys, it's Susan with episode seven of Fresh Takes and Mistakes, a new vlog where we're going to discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. I wanna thank you guys that have been watching so far, have seen my other episodes, and welcome anybody who is just tuning in for the first time. Feel free to look back at some of the other episodes. Just so you know, this vlog, uh, for me, applies to weight loss, but for you could apply to another goal that you might be aspiring to. That could be simple self-improvement, getting healthy, looking for that promotion, budgeting, whatever you're looking to do. Um, and I think a lot of the things that I talk about, the lessons, tips, tricks, um, could apply to any of those goals. So feel free to keep watching. Um, for those of you that ha have been watching, you know that uh, I've definitely encountered some struggles over my year and a half journey of losing 95 pounds naturally. Um, and this, what we're going to talk about today is no different. I have definitely struggled with this and I have um, you know, failed to do it at times and, and failed to utilize it. And every time I can tell you, um, that I failed to utilize this has caused me a setback. So I really, really think it's important to talk about this. Um, and I know that this is probably something you guys have heard before, but today on episode seven, I want to talk about self-love. So before I get started, I just want to share a quote with you guys that I have seen um, time and time again about self-love that I think is so, so super important, has definitely applied to me in the last year and a half. And that is, you cannot hate yourself into a version of you that you can love. You can't. It's not possible. I tried it. Um, and I think maybe those of you who are struggling with weight loss specifically um, have probably tried that as well. Uh, and I'm sure that if you're watching this, it, it didn't work. Um, hating yourself is definitely not going to get you moving in a direction that's going to be healthy for you or good for your body in any way. And even if you do find a little bit of success with weight loss, it tends to, you know, end up slipping back into binge eating or back into those destructive patterns that got you where you were to begin with. So I want to talk about ways that we practice self-love because... You may be thinking that you're trying to lose weight and that is self-love in and of itself because you want your body to be healthier and um, you think that that's going to make you happier and you want to be a version of yourself that is happy, which is, of course, self-love. However, I think personally for me, that's only a part of it. Um, of course, we want our bodies to be healthier and, you know, eating the right foods and trying to exercise and things like that, that definitely can be self-love if you do it in the right way and with the mi right mindset, but it's only part of it. I have had to learn over the last year um, that along with self-love comes self-compassion and self-understanding. Now, um, anybody who has ever tried to lose weight in any way has definitely um, fallen back uh, into bad patterns or, you know, gone back into binge eating, had that cupcake that they wish that they didn't had or whatever the case may be. Um, and I think that a big part of self-compassion is understanding why we do the things that we do, understanding that we are not always going to be perfect in our plan um, and follow our plan and, under and being able to move on from that and forgive ourselves. Um, the other part of self-compassion, like I said, understanding why we do the things we do is recognizing your own patterns, recognizing the things that set you into those destructive patterns and finding a better way to handle those things and finding a better way for your mental health to um, cope. So I would definitely say self-compassion is definitely a big part of it. Another thing that I you know, talk, touched a little bit on before is your mindset. So while eating healthy and eating the right foods and you know, treating your body well with food and exercise is a big part of, of self-love and self-compassion, if you do that in such a way that you're thinking, oh my God, I ate that cupcake, so now I have to do whatever cardio or work out in order to get rid of those calories, that's more like treating exercise as a punishment and punishing your body for something that you ate and something that you used to fuel your body. And in my experience, that definitely has never worked. Um, so I think if you have the mindset of, oh, I get to go exercise today because I have the time or I get to go exercise today or I'm going to treat my body to exercise today because I know it's going to make me feel good. Um, that is, a, in my mind, a much better mindset to go into it with. And you're probably going to end up feeling better after anyway. Uh, so the only other thing that I would like to touch on when it comes to self-love is really the 
inspiration for me of doing episode seven, self love, uh, which was, and I'll just tell you a short little story. I went to Old Navy the other day and I picked up some workout clothes um, because, you know, I love workout clothes now. They're super comfortable and they just kind of make your body do the things that you want them to do. But I also picked up a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. And if you've known me for any length of time, you know that my wearing shorts and dresses has just become a thing for me, um, something that I enjoy and something that I'm willing to do on a pretty regular basis over the last like three years. Um, I grew up probably pretty much from puberty not wanting to wear any shorts and certainly not any dresses um, because I don't like my legs or I didn't like my legs. Um, you see, I'm still practicing. Uh, but I just have big thighs. Like I'm, I'm one of those people. I just have big thighs and I'm learning to love that about myself because I, I'm learning to love my shape and my body and in, in the way it is. But until about three years ago, I just had a really, really hard time with my legs. So in the dead of the summer, I would wear, I mean, I'm talking 95 degrees. I would wear capris or pants because I didn't want anybody to see my thighs. And I think it's really, really important. Um, an important part of self-love is making sure that you are comfortable and wearing comfortable clothing. So it, it's just like to suffer, to like go out into 95 degree weather and suffer in jeans or a cardigan because you're embarrassed about the way that your body looks or you're embarrassed about um, how big your thighs are or you know how big your arms are or whatever the case may be is just I personally think really destructive and really um, works against your self-love and I think that you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be comfortable and you know no matter what your body looks like you deserve those things they make clothing um, shorts and, and, and dresses in those sizes because everybody deserves to be comfortable in whatever weather and in whatever they're wearing. So whether you are at the beginning of your journey or you are at the end of your journey or you are not even looking to lose weight, whatever the case may be, um, your comfort is important and that is a big part of self-love. And I think it doesn't just apply to clothing. I think it applies to your situations. I think it applies to your job. I think that applies to your relationships. I think comfort is a super duper big part of self-love. So when I say it applies to situations and jobs and relationships, if you are in a relationship that is uncomfortable for you, if you are working a job that is uncomfortable for you, or if you put yourself into positions out of obligation that are uncomfortable for you, whether they be family events, family gathering, friends events, work gatherings, whatever those may be, um, and, and they are detrimental to your, you know, your mental health, that's something that you might want to consider because it is probably working against your self-love and working against those goals. Um, and so for me, it was clothing, but if you are putting yourself in any situation whatsoever that is uncomfortable for you, just know that you deserve to be comfortable and whatever that means for you is what you should make sure you're doing. So if that family gathering is uncomfortable for you, then don't put yourself into that position or do something or have a conversation that's going to make whatever the portion of that is that is uncomfortable for you no longer uncomfortable. And if it is not working, if you're doing that and it's not working, you just need to make sure you're considering, you know, your self-love and that is coming first before any of these other obligations because you cannot properly love anybody else if you do not have self-love. And I personally don't think that you can reach many goals. And if you can, then that's great for you. I'm super happy for you. But I personally don't think that I would be super happy even with having reached a goal if I didn't love myself the way that I do. I definitely grew into myself before I started this weight loss journey. And I, I feel like I definitely started practicing self-love behavior. And that's what put me on this path. Uh, and I think that's super important for anybody who's starting a journey to, to start doing. So anyway, guys, um, I kind of went off on a tangent there. I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. This is episode seven. I will see you guys again next week with episode eight. And I have no idea what that's going to be about yet, but I'm sure it'll be interesting to some of you. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys who have been watching so far. Those of you who have been reaching out to me, I super appreciate you guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I love your feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.